Remember, what's wrong is always available. So is what's right. Train your brain and find the joy you deserve. My name is Tony Robbins. I'm a philanthropist, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm an educator. I think most people know that AI, artificial intelligence, is coming. Some people have a lot of fear about it, but truthfully, it's augmenting our own capacity. But AI will also affect our lives, just like, uh, let's say, self-driving cars, which AI is a base of technology to accelerate. And it will disrupt as well in the short term. If you were a bus driver, if you were an Uber driver, it'll be disruptive to you. And that's why we have to constantly be re-educating ourselves. I think the first thing we have to do is see which jobs are going to be displaced by AI, by robotics, by algorithms. And instead of being fearful about it, we need to understand that those jobs that are being disrupted, new jobs will occur. You know, 100 years ago in my country, 80% of the people were farmers. Now it's 2% that are farmers and we've helped to feed the whole world. You need to think in terms of what are the skill sets that will make me successful in the future. And those skill sets are number one, you have to learn how to learn more rapidly. Change is constant. You don't have to worry about change, but progress is not. If you want progress, you've got to anticipate what's coming. You've got to retrain yourself in those skill sets. And the answer's all around. They're on the web. There are futurists. There are people sharing it all the time. So number one, be aware of the trends that are coming. Number two, start to train yourself for things that will give you the ability to take advantage of the new technologies and the new opportunities that are coming. One of the most important questions for us in the future, I believe, is all this technology is speeding things up. But while we're achieving more, while accomplishing more, not everybody's happier. And while that sounds like not an important thing to some people, achievement's so important, I believe fulfillment is even more important. See, a happy person doesn't attack other people. And the more we can find this fulfillment, the more we can train our brains to find things we can appreciate instead of letting the old two million year old survival brain take over. It's always looking for what's wrong. There's so many countries where people have nothing but memories of war. And what can be done about that? I think what can be done about that is what we do today to create peace. The more we can build these bridges, the more we can model countries uh, like the example you have here in the United Arab Emirates, where you have people, well, you have a million people that were born here and you have 90% expats. And you have people from, what, 200 different cultures virtually that all live here in unity. How does that happen? Well, this year is the year of tolerance in this country. There's a focus on loving, on giving, on finding the common denominators. We're all human. While we have different values and different backgrounds and different goals, we have some of the same needs. We all need love. We all need to feel our life is significant, that it's meaningful, that it's purposeful. We all need to grow, we all need to contribute, we all need variety and surprise and certainty in our lives. And if we help each other to meet our needs, then all of a sudden we tend to come together. It's easy to divide ourselves if we let the mind run us, but if the heart runs us, it's easy to connect. I don't think we have to inspire the next generation. I think they're already inspired. I think they're living in a world where they know there's unlimited opportunity and they can create life on their terms. I think we really wanna learn from our youth. They're more adaptable, they're more flexible. Most of them are more optimistic. Now, some are not. Some are comparing themselves to others through social media, and they often feel depressed because on social media, people project images that are not really true. They're treated. <laughs> it's better than it is. So put your life in perspective. Set down some of the social media. Set down your computers and your technology. Go outside, connect, and find the joy that comes to just being alive, and then use technology. Don't let technology use you.